So then guys, it's the big one today. It's Coventry City versus Manchester United at Wembley. Looking forward to this one today. Obviously a big match vlog. Um, I don't know how to feel about this. It's a free hit really, but Manchester United, there's a lot of talk about them being beatable. So if Coventry are on it, maybe we can give them a good game. I'm going to be a bit of a realist, a bit of a pessimist. I'll say Coventry 1, Man United 3. I think we can give them a good game. But they've got the quality, haven't they, Manchester United? So, who knows? But they play like individuals. You know, they're a bit of a strange team. They can be good. They can be not so good. So, we'll see. Guys, obviously, make sure to drop a like on this one. Big vlog. We'll go for a 1,000 likes. Hit that thumbs up button. It's free to do. And hopefully, it's a good game. And subscribe. It's free to do that. Subscribe. Thank you so much for your support this season. It's been amazing. Let's get to the Green Man pub. It's Coventry City versus Manchester United. It's an early start. Let's go. FA Cup semi-final. Right, George, prediction. We're going to lose 5-0. We're going to lose 5-0. You're usually optimistic. We'll see what happens. Prediction. Oh, a total loss. A loss. I'm saying a loss. I'm sorry. I'm being real. 2-0 manual. I don't even think we get a goal. Tom, prediction. 3-1 cop. 3-1 cop. I love I love that. Oh, I love that. You know what, There's only one optimist amongst us. Let's see who's right. Coventry City take on Manchester United. Here we go. Oh my goodness. I can't comprehend this. Coventry City v Manchester United for a place in the FA Cup final. Mashford. Oh God. Man United on the attack here. Oh dear. Oh, Coventry, get it away. Corner ball. Oh God. Still nil nil. There we go, lads. Oh, One nil United. Rashford. Oh, oh no. God. Just before half time. Oh, goodness me, what a save. Harry Maguire makes it two. On half time as well, and there goes the half time whistle. It really was a bad time to concede a second goal. Half time, then 2 0. It really was the worst time to concede that second goal. It feels like it might just have taken it out of Coventry's reach. Um, Coventry just got to go for it now. If we'd have got to half time 1 0, I'd have been like, oh, that's okay, but that Maguire goal might just have took it a bit too far but let's see Coventry I, I'd imagine Mark Robbins team top beat Coventry lads just go for it what do you think? yeah it's uh, <laughs> funny because I actually missed the second goal so I don't really know what happened but, you went um, to the toilet yeah yeah probably lucky actually but no um, 
I don't think they deserved a second goal. Obviously, they, they have been the better team. Yeah, oh, 100%. Of course, they've been the better team. They took the, they took the, they took the lead. That was well deserved. But then I feel like we had a spell of about 10 or 15 minutes before they scored their second, where we may have, you know, had a decent chance to get a, to get a goal. But yeah, it's probably probably gone now. I would have fancied us maybe if we, you know, got to half time, still at one 0 but it could be a massive, massive pass now. It's a huge task for a championship team to come back from 2-0 at half time against the top six Prem team, so we'll see, but there. Here we go then, for the second half. Coventry might as well just go for it at this point. Come on, lads. Here come Coventry City then. Bidwell. Oh! Corner. Coventry corner comes in. No, it's cleared away. Get it back in there. Oh. Oh, God. We've lost it. Here's the chance for game over. Oh. Game over. 3 0, Bruno. Here come Coventry then. Three come down, on. but still chasing. Corner ball. Come on. Corner ball. Swinged in. Oh, slashed. Oh. Callum O'Hare just simply out muscled by Harry Maguire. It's not a pen for me. City then chasing a second with 12 minutes to go. Go on. corner then oh man United getting away goodness me cough throw oh Hanging on here, this is crazy. Just go for it, lads. Oh, oh, a ball, a ball, yeah! Penalty, penalty! Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! Penalty to Coventry. Here we go then, 95th minute to level it up from 3-0 down against Man United. Oh, I'm shaking. Please.
goodness me. I don't want it. I think he wants us to win it all the time. Full time. It's going to extra time. Coventry fans cheer, Man United fans boo. Oh my god. You couldn't write this. 3-3. Three, three. Oh my goodness me. Extra time gets underway. Rasmus Hoyland gives it. Here come United. Oh. Oh, Bruno Fernandes, it's the bar. I can't believe it. Oh my god. Oh, do you know what? I can't even do any more of this game. We're back for the second half of extra time. Man United get a corner in the mixer. Oh, jeez. Clear your lines, lads. Oh, no. Oh. God. We're into the 111th minute. Cov corner. Oh. It's gone past everyone. I'll tell you what, last time I came to Wembley, Coventry City went to a penalty shootout, which cost them a place in the Premier League. Is this one going to a penalty shootout? Oh gosh, here come United to win it. They didn't shoot. Close them. Oh God. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh my God. Oh, 120 have been played. Oh, One minute added. Come on. Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. Checking this goal for an offside. Please don't be offside. Please. It's offside. Man United saved. They've been saved. Man United corner. Last kick of the game. Oh God, get it out. It's going to penalties. Oh, Jesus. Oh my goodness. So the worst possible thing, Man United are taking them at their end. Yes! Never mind. We've saved one. Oh my God. Hadji Wright scored a penalty in the game. Now to give Coventry the advantage in the shootout. Oh god, I literally can't watch. Oh, oh my! He's bloody. United's second penalty scored. Coventry penalty number two. What a pen! Manchester United penalty number three. Oh God. Oh, it's a good one. Oh. Coventry penalty three. Oh. Callum O'Hare has it saved. Oh, jeez. So we're all level after three each. Bruno to give Man United the advantage. Bruno. Jeez, pressure's on Coventry. Coventry penalty four, it needs to go in. Ben Sheaf, you have to score. Skies it. Ben Sheaf skies it. If Manchester United score this, they are in the FA Cup final against Man City. Oh God. Man United win. They scrape past Coventry.
I'll tell you what, Eric Ten Hag is a very lucky man. Manchester United have scraped through. So then we have just got back after a long day out at Wembley and it's Manchester United who are going to the FA Cup final. Um, mm, it feels like deja vu. Two years running, we've gone to Wembley, we've put up a good fight and we've come up short in a penalty shootout. Um, it's, oh God, I don't even know where to start. Where do you start analysing a game like that? In a way, it's one of Coventry's greatest ever results but we didn't win so do, do you know what I mean in terms of performances I thought it was really good from Coventry in the second half but if we go through it chronologically Manchester United really did seem to show their Premier League class in the first half uh, which was a bit wary that they might because they've got great players of course and in the first half they really controlled it it felt like Coventry had set up to be defensive and in hindsight now you'd think oh, we should have just gone straight for them because we showed that we can match them if not better them um, but no first half I thought Manchester United were really good second half I thought Coventry came out a lot better the third goal for Man United kind of felt like it came against the run of play but then Coventry kept going you got the first which at the time felt like a consolation then you get the second and then obviously the penalty and Coventry were level and uh, I mean just unbelievable um, we have said you know previously a lot of people have said Manchester United are a bit questionable although they've got great individuals um, you know they don't always put in the hard yards they don't always track back they don't really play as a team specifically but you can't let that take away from how good Coventry really were. I thought Ben Sheaf, Hadji Wright, Ellis Sims, I thought Milan Van Evak, I could list all of them. I thought all of them Collins. put in a really good performance and dragged Coventry kicking and screaming from the abyss back into that. But to be sat here knowing that we're not in the FA Cup final is something else. Yes, we could say it would have been Man City in the final for us. We wouldn't have beat them. That would have been a step too far. But, you know, just to have got to the final would have been great. But let's be honest, getting to the semi-final is still great. Um, what a semi-final it was. Oh, unbelievable. And like I say, right at the end, of course, we score our third goal. Fourth goal, sorry, there was that many goals. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's a toenail offside. I mean, not even a toenail. It's, it's a clipping of a toenail. It's the smallest of fractions offside. And that is what's cost Coventry not winning. It goes to a shootout. And then it's anyone's really and um, no, it's not. <laughs> well I suppose yeah we could say if we want to be super critical Coventry need to practice their penalties you know good teams find a way of winning but I don't want to be too harsh do you know what I mean um, I thought we played very well and ultimately the thing is like I said in the Luton game last year whichever end they took the penalties at was going to decide it for me and Manchester United won the coin toss yes they missed their first penalty but O'Hare has one saved Sheaf puts one over the bar I'm not going to blame them. It's unbearable pressure. We're out, Jamie. Man United are through. What's your, how are you feeling? I don't know where to, what, what words to say. Uh, it's, um, the first goal was a consolation goal. You know, well, we, we thought it was. Um, it was a good goal, that one from Ellis Sims. It was, it was a cracking goal. And we were like, we've done our bit. We've made our mark at Wembley today. Callum O'Hare's goal <laughs> was kind of like... Oh, the net moves, it went in, because it literally yeah. took a massive deflection. It felt like that was going over or something. And then suddenly it moved. Um, and then had you got the pen, he did well to win that. Um, I, don't, I don't know if he won it, but he, he, he scored it, obviously. I think it hit Wambasaka's hand. Oh, yes. And then, um, yeah, he took it well. And it, obviously that was a good pen. He scored his pen in the shootout as well. He's pretty good at them when he doesn't decide to slip over. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, and when that fourth went in, uh, obviously you saw was on the floor and I feel a bit silly now because it never really came of anything but it's the way it goes um, it, I mean if we get up to the Premier League if um, we've got to have to deal with that sort of disappointment quite often with VAR and, and, and checking on all of that so mm. it's a good little taste and also you said to, you said that we proved ourselves to be a very good championship team today we proved ourselves to be a very good Premier League team yeah I, th I think that's yeah, a relatively fair assessment I think um Oh yeah. Also, although it's it's heartbreaking, I'm incredibly proud, and I was thinking oh, to myself, yeah. do I smile? Do I cry? In the end, I've smiled. Um, it is hard to hold balls. back hold back the tears after a really incredible effort. Not just that, the cup run itself, beating Wolves in the last round. Um, but that's it, you know, for the FA Cup. Um, it's one of them where, for a championship team, that's a really good achievement. We were the better team from the second half onwards, and how we didn't win that. I, 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 yeah. Honestly, I mean, he came out fighting it, it in that did, second half. It did feel like we'd won it. What but, did Robin say to him? But, say to them. 
that's how it can be. That's how it can be. It felt like we'd won it, but obviously we didn't. Um, I want to say credit to Manchester United, but even the Manchester United fans must be thinking right now, I'm hiding behind the sofa. That was not a pretty performance. <laughs> I will give them credit for getting to the final. I'm, you know, man enough to say that. But um, for a top six Prem team, it wasn't a top six Prem performance. First half, they were good. Second half, Coventry really had them on the ropes. But they're into the final. They'd have to do a lot better if they're going to beat yeah, Man City. With, <laughs> if you um, play with that performance. But there you go. Maybe that's, you know, just the difference, isn't it? In the Premier League Championship, just holding your nerve in a shootout. That's what it can be. But it's encouraging. We've got a few games left to try and make the playoffs. I think that might be a bit of a stretch, but we'll see. And then next season, you know, if all is well, we can make a better fist of challenging for promotion and who knows, maybe another cup run. I want to say a massive thank you, by the way. Your support's been amazing. The season's not over yet, but this was a massive vlog. And if you can support it with a like and a subscribe and a comment and whatever else there might be you can do another comment <laughs> that would be massively appreciated um it's been a marathon today thank you for your support thank you well thank you for just bringing me along with this journey i'd also like to give credit to the cov fans who stayed to the end man U fans went the man U fans left after they won it I we think. stayed yeah but Love there you that. Go. i'll see you in the next one guys take care peace out there guys